Yeah, thanks for the introduction and thanks to the presenters for the interesting presentations. I will uh, uh, present the main outputs from uh, the Green for Care projects uh, on the market of green care in Europe. And I will focus on uh, three main uh, thematics uh, which we identified as important in the green care sector. One is uh, forest-based care which uh, focuses on uh, health prevention uh, uh, and promotion, providing activities such as forest bathing and forest walks and so on. Uh, forest therapy, uh, which uh, offers, uh, includes uh, rehabilitation activities, healthcare for uh, physical and psychological issues. Also forest education, including so, uh, forest schools and the social integration in forest. Then I will also give some insights about the green care tourism uh, thematics, which includes all those organizations that offer tourism activities in nature and in wild species, searching for health, well-being and regeneration. Then the third thematic, thematic is uh, urban green care, which uh, includes the range of projects, initiatives, organization promoting uh, urban and peri-urban green spaces for health and well-being. Uh, so what we wanted to look by, um, uh, to study by um, looking at these uh, three thematics um, was how the market has been developing and how it will develop. And uh, we did this by uh, writing three different market outlooks, which, is, which, which you can also find and download on uh, the website. And uh, we did this uh, by conducting uh, three different surveys, one uh, for each thematic. And, um, and you can, we conducted a survey to the service providers uh, asking what are the characteristics of the service that they are providing. You can see that the number of answers is not uh, very high and this is a limitation of our study, which uh, yeah, showed that we didn't have a, enough big uh, sample to represent the market. And uh, uh, so the aim of our study was mainly to conduct an explorative study with the ambition to share some uh, insights of this not too well-known market. To complement these research activities, we conducted also a focus group discussion and uh, interviews with the uh, experts of the sector and practitioners. And also for the urban green care, uh, we looked at uh, the Urban Nature Atlas database, selecting 51 uh, nature-based uh, solution initiatives. Uh, looking at the results, here I prepared a condensed uh, summary of our results from the three market outlooks. And um, regarding forest-based care, the initiatives uh, seem to be still at an early stage and still developing. Uh, they develop mainly between the, in the last 10 years. The service is offered uh, in uh, rural public forests such as national parks and the area used is around one to five hectares. The, the, the owner of the business is often not hiring uh, employees and uh, when they, uh, they hire them they have a very diverse uh, background varying from a tourism background or um, forestry, education and so on. Uh, the main beneficiaries uh, that are addressed here is the general public, which is also the most accessible, uh, and also education. Uh, there is uh, still uh, uh, develop development uh, in the forest therapy uh, customer groups, uh, which uh, require further collaboration with the health sector and the general doctor practitioners to reach also this market. Regarding the finance, uh, the forest-based care providers rely mainly on own financial resources as there is a lack of uh, private and public funding, but uh, they are also uh, here in this market as well as in the other uh, uh, thematics, it's very important mutual collaboration. So relying on their, uh, on their, on the, on their network. And regarding green care tourism, you can also see the, that there is the same uh, trend for uh, finance. So they also rely a lot on uh, own financial resources and the customers that are addressed are mainly tourists interested in sustainability and health. Um, 
the providers, uh, we didn't find any particular patterns in the, in the age of the service that is provided and the area where the service is provided are sustainably managed natural areas, which require certain infrastructures, such as uh, wide areas to rest uh, or cycling road or marked and mountain trails. Regarding urban green care, um, we found that uh, through the database that the initiatives seem to be kind of established, not, yet, not, not anymore at the design phase. The service is provided in public and urban parks and woodlands. Uh, and the number of employees can vary, but do, don't, doesn't go over 50 employees. Uh, the main beneficiaries are is, uh, the public sector, such as uh, schools or hospital, where uh, the um, uh, green care uh, service is uh, offered. And there is uh, um, availability of public funding, as uh, many initiatives that were analyzed uh, through the database uh, were offered by uh, municipalities uh, and governments. Uh, another important aspect of these uh, markets is the certification, which, for example, for forest-based care is still under uh, development, and uh, it's uh, seen as a very important factor to push the development of the market, because right now it seems to be still based on the um, on informal norms such as uh, word of mouth, uh, good reputation uh, among between the customers, uh, and um, uh, and book writing and, and uh, certificates of attendance to events. Looking now that uh, you have a kind of overview of how the market looks uh, like right now, we can look at the future. And uh, the there is an optimistic expectation from the providers. The customer base and revenue are expected to increase. Uh, with COVID-19, which uh, we have seen that had, was kind of destructive for tourism, still uh, it might have a positive effect on the recognition of the sector since people are more aware of the benefits of nature on health and well-being. And uh, there is also a push towards innovation, uh, pushing, uh, creating new type of services such as virtual reality, forest therapy, and so on. And uh, another fundamental point is the key role of the private sector to develop uh, the market and bring sustainable financing, mainly the health and the tourism sectors, which can really bring uh, sustainable uh, uh, funding. And also, as I said before, the European certification system is also uh, something that needs to be developed. So now you have an overview of what are the factors that can uh, push the market forward. I also indicate here for the research that we should focus on in the future. And I'm happy to talk about it in the discussion if you have any questions. And uh, thank you very much for listening.